All right, working class beer reviews. This is Caleb, the Jeeping Foodie, looking at Budweiser Black Lager. This came out like a month or so ago, maybe. Um, Budweiser's been doing this Discovery series or release type thing. Uh, I want to say a couple years ago, they did the Repeal Reserve. They've done the Amber Lager. They've done the Jim Beam Copper Lager. And they've re-released those two. For some reason, the Repeal one, that's one, my favorite out of, out of all of them. That's probably been the best one. And uh, they have yet to re-release that one. But the other ones, they've kind of kept them going. Uh, but this is... Yeah, Budweiser Black Lager, Jim Beam. It's a collaboration, I'm sure. Uh, 12 ounce bottle. It's got the nice stubby little bottle like they would, did with uh, Natural Light and with all the different uh, Discovery Series bottles. 7.1% alcohol. This came in a four pack at around 8.50. And um, they had eight packs for around 15 something. So, um, yeah, it's a little more expensive. So based on the price, my standards or my expectations are set very high. Neat little Anheuser-Busch Eagle cap on there. If you can see that. Had a nice hiss when I opened it up. Get that vapor out of there. I'm going to do it service by doing it out of a mason jar this is a curve wide mouth you know make you think of bootlegging moonshine jim beam whiskey all that stuff you think of mason jars so that's why i'm gonna do this in so i'm gonna give it a strong pour it's a pint jar so this should easily fill this but i'm gonna give it a, an aggressive pour nice tan head not a very well lit room but it's it's a dark copper. It's a brown. Brown colored. I've never had this before, so I have no understanding of what it is, how it is, what it, what's in it. I've done no research. I probably could have, you know, I'm just kind of pointing and shooting on this one like I do with all my reviews, honestly. But, um, yeah. Like a root beer looking color. Very brownish. But the head is staying. It's got a nice head retention on it. So that's a good sign. It's very smooth on top. Let's give it a smell. Very dark malt. Um, there may be rice in this. I'm not sure how they do the Discovery series. Usually anything that has a Budweiser name has rice in it. But they, these might be all malt for all that I know. So this could be an all malt lager. Black. Black, I would think that means it's a Schwartz beer by German standards. Schwartz is usually a dark lager. So it's a very cool label. It's, a, it's like a dark version of their classic label. If you see that. It's got the Jim Beam logo on the bottom. So we're talking late 2019. So freshness before March 10th of 2020 so that's the best buy date march 10th of 2020 so i don't know exactly when they released this like i said i've noticed this for about under a month maybe a month at the most but i've seen this and i saw it in four packs and that's kind of that threw me back a little bit so let's receive it a little bit but actually it's holding really well i'm gonna go ahead and top that off I've never had a Budweiser brand product aside from like Hurricane Natty Daddy, which are eight eight point one percent, you know stuff like that. I've never had a Budweiser brand product this strong, so this is new. This is kind of cool. Okay, good on that one. It smells, yeah, it's it's got a very strong dark malt aroma. So let's give it a taste. Mm. 
Mm, yeah, that's good. Wow. I don't really... Okay. I got... At first, I didn't taste a whole lot of like any sort of a whiskey, Jim Beam, bourbon type. But now I'm getting the barrel oakiness flavor to it. Very caramel. I'm sure some of that's coming from the malt that they're using. Um, it's pretty. Man, wow, that's a good looking beer. Um, yeah, I'm getting the bit of the oak barrel flavor now after the fact. It doesn't come initially. It takes a little bit to let it sit on your tongue. Wow. I can see a lot of people enjoying this. I can see a lot of craft beer people enjoying this if they could get past the stigma of it being a Budweiser brand product. If this is labeled as something else or made by someone else, or I mean titled under someone else, but made by Budweiser, and they didn't know it, they would probably rate it really high. They're probably going to shoot it low because of this name. But I'm not letting that stand my way because I actually appreciate a lot of Budweiser products. Um, wow, this this is just as good as any Samuel Adams beer. You know, Sierra Nevada. Stuff like that. This is, man, this is on par. I mean, it levels with it easily. That's really good. Unbelievable. Well, actually, it's not unbelievable. It's very believable. I know that they have the ability to make beers like this. It's just whether or not that they, they make money off of it because people will buy it. Normal Budweiser drinkers may not like this, but I think they're what they're trying to, to appeal with the Jim Beam collaboration is trying to get a, some of the whiskey drinkers to dip their toes into the beer market. Maybe they don't like normal lagers like Budweiser, Bud Light, things like that. But they can get a dark beer. You know, they can get a name like Budweiser behind it. Yeah, it's good. And uh, I think you should try it. it. You know what? It may not be around for long. Maybe this is a one-time push, and if it doesn't stick, I think I could see a lot of people having a hard time with the price and the fact that it's a four-pack. For eight fifty, I would much rather have had a six pack. I'm sorry, they may put a lot of money into this, and it's probably worth every penny that they're charging for it. But you know, all their other collaborations, you know, the Repeal Reserve, I think was close to six. I think it was six percent. So you're not that far lower, and it was a six pack for the same price, like eight fifty. And I, I adore it. That's actually out of all of these, I like this one. This is really, really good. But the repeal reserve at the very beginning was, I was blown away. And I wish they'd bring it back. I actually kept the bottle. I have it down in my basement with a lot of other collector bottles that they've, they've been doing a lot of these like throwback bottles, a lot of the, uh, the labels and stuff like that. Budweiser has done a really good job with their labels. Uh, they did a throwback Bush label and then in the years, the past two years or so, They've kind of refined it and made it look a little more modern. I actually wish they would go back to the throwback label that they did for Bush beer. And I'm not even a Bush beer drinker, but that actually made me want to drink it because it looked so classic. But Budweiser, Bud Light, they have some of the most handsome labels right now of all the macro beers. Miller Light actually started it with when they went back to their late 70s, early 80s looking label. They did that. Coors original started doing different retro labels of their different styles. Like I said, they've been doing the bottles. Budweiser's been doing these cool little stubby bottles. Miller Lite's been doing the Steiny bottles there for a while. I think they quit that. But um, in Natural Light, I think you can still get them in these stubby, stubby bottles. They actually, when they were introduced, a lot of people don't realize that Natural Light was uh, in a... I guess you'd call it like a fluted bottle, like a Michelob curvy hourglass bottle. That's how they were released. Look it up. Do some Googling or Pinterest, whatever you got. But uh, if you see this, I think you need to grab it once at least. If Even if it's not your thing, just to say you tried it. This is definitely something worth trying. This is really good, actually. 
I'm very surprised. Um, I'm gonna have to hang on to one of these bottles and keep it in my fridge for later. And because uh, just in case I don't ever see it again, if I do, obviously I'll rotate it for a new one. But uh, thank you guys for watching this fairly rushed review. To me, it is working class. Budweiser, Jim Beam, those are working class brands. Uh, so people that are blue collar, that earn their money the hard way, just like Budweiser says they brew their beer the hard way, they're going to enjoy this. And I hope you enjoy it too. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.